Hey guys, Anthony from TroTech Laser Canada. Today we're going to be showing you how to make some beautiful coasters utilizing some techniques that you can use on your laser. In Canada, we're extremely proud of our beer culture. To show you this, we've made some coasters using 10 different local brewers around Canada. We made 11 different coasters today using a combination of various TroTech materials. So the first coaster that we are going to take a look at is Big, Big Rock Brewer located in Calgary, Alberta. To make this coaster we used 3mm Tro Glass Reverse Black. The first step to making this coaster was placing the sheet of Tro Glass Reverse Black into the laser machine. For the first part we are going to etch out the red parts that you see on the coaster. When you're using Tro Glass Reverse, don't forget to reverse your design as you will be engraving on the back side of your material. As you can see, there are multiple colors on this coaster. To achieve this, we etched out our first color and then spray painted the back of the material. We let the spray paint dry for a couple hours and then took it back to our laser machine where we then engraved our second color. Next, you'll spray paint the second color on your material. Once it's dry, you are now ready to cut out your finished coasters. Next, we made a coaster for North Brewing Company located in Agricola, Halifax. This coaster, we used our three millimeter thick solid maple wood. To make this coaster, simply put your material in your laser and engrave and cut in one job. Our next coaster is from Blind Man Brewing, located in Lacombe, Alberta. To make this coaster, we use a 3mm thick Tro Glass Color Fluorescent Green. To make this coaster, it was also extremely easy. Just find your design, send it to the machine, and watch it engrave and cut in one job. You can also reverse engrave this material to get a cleaner look on the front side of the coaster. The next coaster we made was a Driftwood Brewery located in Victoria, BC. For the base part of this coaster, we used our 3mm thick Tro Glass Color Gloss Black. As you can see on this coaster, we use a combination of engraving and inlays. For the inlays, we used three different colors, Tro Glass Color Gloss, Yellow, Red and Orange. First, we put our base material into the laser machine, engraved our logo and cut out the inlays. We put our material in for our inlays and continue to cut those out. Afterwards, we put our other materials in and cut out our shapes for the inlays. Finally, we took our inlay pieces and hammered them into our base material with a rubber mallet. To ensure a tight fit in the inlays, when using your design program, make sure that the inlay pieces are .001 inches thicker than the hole in the base material. For our next coaster, we have Brunswick Beer Works from York, Ontario. For this coaster, we're going to be using our Flex Series lasers as we will be using stainless steel and 3mm thick MDF wood. We put both materials inside of the laser machine and then the laser machine used its fiber laser to etch the stainless steel. Afterwards, it then used its CO2 laser to cut out the MDF wood.
Our 3mm thick MDF wood had 3M adhesive on the backing of it. We peeled that off to apply it to our stainless steel portion to get what we have here. So our next coaster is by Nokomis Craft Ales, located in Nokomis, Saskatchewan. To make this coaster, we placed our material into the laser and etched out our logo through the first layer of yellow to expose our black material. After the etching process was done, the laser then cut out the shapes of the coasters. The next coaster we made was from Rogue's Roost Brewery in Nova Scotia. To make this coaster, we started off by putting our material into our laser, where then the laser etched the aluminum and cut out the MDF wood in one job. After that, we peeled off our 3M adhesive and placed the two pieces together to complete the coaster. For our next coaster, we used Flying Monkeys Craft Brewery from Barrie, Ontario. To make this coaster, we use our 5mm thick Smart X Foam. We put the Smart X Foam into our Muto 426 UF UV printer to print our logo and registration marks onto the foam. Once we are done with the UV printer, we take our material to the laser cutter. Our laser machines will then use the vision camera system to find the registration marks and cut in the necessary places. The next coaster we made was Side Launch Brewery located from Collingwood, Ontario. To make this coaster we used two different materials. First we used for the base material 3mm thick solid maple wood and for our inlays we used 3mm thick Troglass Color Gloss Black. First we put our maple wood into the machine where we did our engraving then afterwards it cut out the shapes for the inlays and the shapes for the coasters. Next we put our black acrylic into the blazer machine where I engraved and cut out the shapes of the inlays. We then took our inlays and hammered them into our base material with a rubber mallet. As mentioned before, to ensure a tight fit in your inlays, make sure you make your inlays 0.001 inches thicker than the cutout for your inlay. Our next coaster is Steam Whistle, which is made in Toronto, Canada. To make this coaster, we use our 3mm thick Troglass Clear. We then use our Muto 426 UF UV printer on the back side of the acrylic. Make sure when you're printing on the back side of your clear acrylic, that you reverse your image and use the white on color method. When using the UV printer, we printed registration marks to use later in the laser machine. These registration marks will be registered by our vision camera system, so it will cut out the shapes that you need where you need them. Next, we took our printed acrylic and placed it in our laser machine. Our vision camera system then found the registration marks and cut out the coasters accordingly. Our final coaster is made by Prince Edward Island Brewing Co. located in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. For this coaster we used our 3mm thick Troglass Satin Black and 3mm thick Troglass Satin White. We first placed our Troglass Satin Black material into the laser where it engraved, cut out the shape of the coaster and made the markings for our kiss cuts. Second we put our Troglass Satin White material into our laser and cut out the pieces that we'll be placing over the kiss cut. Using the kiss cut method is very vital to getting your logo in the exact position that it needs to be. We then peeled our 3M adhesive off of the satin white material and placed our material in perfect position over the kiss cuts. Think about the return on investment with these coasters. With a bigger bed size and a faster machine, you can produce these coasters much more efficiently. We also have our flex options so you can laser engrave and cut multiple materials with our CO2 and fiber lasers at the same time. These coasters are a great idea for promotional companies, marketing events, restaurants, and microbreweries. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, make sure you leave them below.